Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you cannot connect your Galaxy Buds to your Windows 10 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I'd actually recommend trying here would be to go down to your speaker icon in the bottom right corner of the system tray. Go ahead and just left click on it and just give it a moment to load up here. So if you notice that there are playback devices or multiple ones listed here, there should be a list. You can go ahead and just select the headphones that uh, corresponds to Galaxy Buds, which it should say in the listing, again, if there are multiple items in here. So that's just one thing you can try. And if you right click on the speaker icon as well, and you select sounds, and if we select the playback tab, Again, you should be able to see your Galaxy Buds listed in here. So that's the first thing you want to just identify. It might be a very quick fix doing that. If you don't see it in here, something else you can go and try would be to open up the Start menu now. Type in Services. Best result should come back with Services. Go ahead and open that up. Locate the Bluetooth service, so Bluetooth support service to be specific. Go ahead and double click on that. You want to set startup type to automatic, so click inside the drop down here. Select automatic. If service status is stopped, select the start button. And then once that is done, select apply and OK. I would suggest restarting your computer just to be safe, and that should probably be about it, guys. Uh, one further thing we can try here if we close out of here and open up the start menu, type in devices. Best result should come back with devices in the modern UI settings window. If you don't see it, in which I don't see it in my case here, I'm just going to search for settings or you can select the gear icon too. If you just open up the start menu, whichever way you prefer. And we're going to go ahead and open this up. Don't know why it wasn't um, showing up in the search results, but it should have. But anyway, you want to select devices here. So go ahead and left click on that tile. Should be near the top. And now on the left side, select Bluetooth and other devices. And now directing your attention over to the right, if you scroll down underneath related settings, should be something that says devices and printers. Go ahead and left click on that. Now again, you should be able to see your Galaxy Buds listed in here. I'm just going to give an example that's not the Galaxy Buds, but again, if you see it in here, you just want to go ahead and right click on it and you would select properties. There'd be a services tab. Again, you look for something that says Galaxy Buds on here. Obviously, I'm just doing an example since I don't have any Galaxy Buds. I don't own any, but just if you did, you'd see it somewhere in here. If you poked it up to your computer, it should be an item listing in here that says Galaxy Buds. Go ahead and right click on it, select properties, and then in this properties window here, there should be another tab that would say services. And then there'd be a list of different items down below it, and they should have mostly check marks next to them. You want to check mark anything that wasn't filled in, so it might say audio sync, remote control, Samsung devices. There might be a list of, I would say, six or seven items. You want to go ahead and just make sure they're all selected, and then you would select apply and OK to save the change. Restart your computer, and then hopefully that should be about it. And like I said, it should be a pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.